Okay, what statue am I going to make next? Hmm. Oh, that poor elephant. He never got done. I think it's about time we do him now. And so we shall. Here is a list of all the blocks that you'll need. I, of course, will be using andesite because we have a wall, stair, and slab variant of it, and it's a pretty evenly textured block. But you, of course, can use any block that you want as long as it has all those different subtypes of blocks. You'll also need a dark block for the eyes and diorite walls for the tusks. Let's get started. It will be easiest for you to mark off the area that you need to build this. It's going to be in a 7 by 23 area, so it's much longer than it is wide. And we'll just start building this one layer at a time from the ground up. I think this is the easiest way to do it. All you have to do is link the colors with the right block, and also link the shapes to the different subtypes of blocks. Stairs will point in the direction that they need to face, so that should make it much easier for you. So you're going to be building the colored layers and the white layers will show you the previous layer so that you don't get lost. Now occasionally, a layer may cover up entirely the previous layer, but you'll just have to use your better judgment to know where that layer goes. There's also this handy dandy feature on YouTube called the pause button that might be useful to you. Even though it probably destroys my chances of getting this video recommended because it results in lower watch time, I still recommend you do it. It will be a huge help. If you're building this in survival and you had collected all the blocks, it shouldn't take you too long, at least I hope. It's only 20 layers tall, and most of the layers aren't that complicated. Now that I think I've explained everything to where everyone should understand it, if you still have problems though, please let me know what to change. It's very difficult for me to have to guess why you think something isn't working, but I do think I have worked out a system that was working much better. I did make some updates to this blueprint, so I'm hoping there shouldn't be any confusion whatsoever. Of course, with a smaller statue like this, it does make it easier too, because it's just easier when it's smaller because you can see it much better. I also have all the layers timestamped for once, so that's something new I'm probably going to try to do in future videos more. That way it'll be easier for you to pick up where you left off. Now you should be able to build the next few layers without any assistance, so I'll leave you to it.
Layer 16 is the last layer that we're going to be looking at the top view of the statue. Layers 17 through 20 are going to be a side view because it's easier to see it this way and I can just show it all at once instead of a single block at a time. And once you're done with layer 20, then we're going to go back and add in the tusks. So these are going to go in those little holes right above the mouth, so go ahead and place your first three walls in a corner shape just like this. Then we're going to place three more walls below that, and then one more to finish off the curve. So you have seven walls total for each tusk. And then we're just going to go to the other side and repeat that. And now finally I can check this off my list and say I have designed an elephant statue for you. So you're welcome. And if you would like to find other tutorials, I do have a few more on my channel. There's several. Some of the older ones might be outdated, but they still work. At least I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you again another one sometime. Oh, and if you have more ideas, feel free to let me know. See ya!